Welcome back to Footy Classified. Well, Port Adelaide are one of four teams that will head to Queensland for the next probably six or seven weeks in an unusual resumption to their season. Travis Boak, the ex-captain and senior player, is among them. And Travis joins us from South Australia. Welcome, Trav. How do you feel about sharing a boat with the Adelaide Crows up in Queensland as of Sunday? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting. There might be another showdown in the uh, in the hotel room. Who knows? But, um, yeah, look, uh, look, I mean... It's it's probably the best case scenario in, in a worst case scenario situation. I mean, it'd be um, it'd be ideal to stay in Adelaide and, and obviously play the the fly in fly out model, but that's that's a scenario that can't happen for us. And uh, I guess going up to Queensland in the uh, in the middle of winter is probably not the worst result. Travis, it felt like a bit of a backflip from your chief medical officer when she said you couldn't contact train in South Australia and obviously not not even play there without quarantining. Tell me, do you feel a little bit miffed at the Crows? for that camp? I mean, there is a suggestion, and even the AFL chairman has admitted it didn't help your situation now. Yeah, look, I probably don't know enough of the um, the situation that, that went on. And um, I guess, you know, right now it's very confusing times. And I mean, um, even even now with the, with the protocols and, and rules that we do have in place, it's still, um, you know, you're still a little bit anxious to what you can and can't do. And um, I guess the... The situation, um, you know, probably hasn't had a, a positive impact on, on um, you know, the AFL going forward. But, um, I mean, it's it's probably not one for, for me to delve too much into. It's it's out of my control and out of, um, you know, probably what I've, I've been involved in. So, uh, I guess for us, we've just got to um, accept what's happened and, and move forward with, I guess, moving up to Queensland and hopefully getting back to playing footy pretty soon. And, Trav, you spoke about what you can and can't do. What about when you get up to the Gold Coast? Has that been clarified about what you will be able to do when you're up there, because it will be a tricky situation of not feeling like you're, you're stranded there, sort of on a uh, with not much to do. If you can't play golf, get out and have a swim, because you can get quite lethargic in those situations, even just for two or three days. Yeah, look, it's it's gonna, certainly going to present some challenges for uh, for the group, and I mean the, those those protocols are in place for for everyone, but certainly moving up to Queensland, there's going to be some challenges. There's no doubt. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to adapt to, to the, I guess, the new situation um, that is presented for our group. But I think, you know, in a um, in a, an environment that we're going into, I guess, you know, you look at a positive, we are, we're we going to be able to, to, to gel as a group really well. And, I mean, going to China for, for a week is, we've played some of our best footy going up there because we've been able to connect really well as a group. I know it's a little bit different uh, situation and, and six to seven weeks is a long time, but... We're going to have to find ways to adapt to that and, and make sure that we do gel well as a group together and, and find ways to have fun and enjoy uh, each, each other's company and playing footy up there. Travis, Ken, your coach's contract would say you need to play finals this year for that to be triggered and for him to be there next year. But do you think that should be scrapped and the club should commit to him now, given the uncertainty of the future? Oh, look, mate, I'd, I'd probably say, um, even if it wasn't this situation, I'd love Kenny to be around and... Um, for him to, to get signed, he's he's been a massive um, had a massive impact on this group. And I know uh, you know our fans want results and finals and um, you know to, to win flags, and that's what we expect. But um, you know Kenny's Kenny's been an outstanding coach. He's he's made a huge impact on a lot of lives of of the players within the group. And we've certainly got some young talent coming in through now, and uh, they'll all speak highly of him. So we're we're hoping that he can sign on for for the future, and uh, he can be a part of hopefully some success too. I feel as though you're one of the disadvantaged clubs in that by Corona, no one, no one's fault, but you had so much momentum, massive pre-season, some big wins, massive win in round one. How do you as a leader keep those young players, those, that brilliant young group you've got now focused with that terrible break you've had to endure? Yeah, look, I, I guess it's been obviously a disadvantage for everyone. I mean, uh, the, the stop of momentum and, and for us, we've... I know we've, we've had to stay connected in different ways and that's through, you know, Zoom meetings or FaceTimes and, and little things like that, training in pairs. Um, we, we've just had to stay connected in, in those ways to, to make sure that we, um, you know, are on the same level. And I think for us now, it's about getting back to, to the group and, and talking about the, the struggles that they might have had during this time and opening up and being vulnerable to, to what is actually what has actually gone on, what, what challenges you're facing right now. And, and that's what we've built as a group. And um, you know, Hugh, who's done a, a massive, a massive, had massive impact on our group of, of building connection within uh, the, the players and being able to share stories. That's what we need to get back to now and, and understand each other and where we all sit. And, and that helps us get back to playing really good footy. So we're looking forward to getting up on the Gold Coast and, and getting back to, to what we love. 
Trav, I know over your off-season you head to America. Uh, a little birdie tells me and you do go try and get some cutting-edge training to be on top of your game for the next season. What have you tried to do over the last four or five weeks or you know, to stay on top of your game and come in round two, be ready to go and not suffer any soft tissue injuries? Yeah, I think, Lloydie, for me, um, I mean, during this period, I mean, we've, we've just done... Uh, a massive bulk of pre-season and, um, you know, we've played multiple games. So the body's actually in really good physical condition and probably the, the peak shape uh, that we want to be in going into round one. Um, so it's, it's, it's really just a maintenance phase, what it has been over the last several weeks. And, and that's sort of what it's been about. And uh, I mean, you've got to have fun with it too. And, and that's what we try to do, um, you know, in my house and, and guys have, have tried to enjoy it as much as they can. But for me, the last four or five weeks mentally has been um, where I've tried to, to really zone in and, and dial in my time to to make sure when I do get back that um, you know I'm mentally uh, in a really good position not only for this year but going forward and and the challenges that we've all faced during this this period has been a um, I guess a stage where we can we, we can grow or we can um, I guess let it affect us in a big way and those challenges we can come out the better side better people and, and better athletes as well. Before we let you go, Trav, you joked only a couple of weeks ago that the only person that criticises you these days is Kane in the media. What's it like being <laughs> yeah, critiqued by an ex-teammate? Uh, look, I mean, we, we vary opinion, uh, opinions and that's, uh, you know, that's the nature of the game. And, um, yeah, look, I, I guess it's, uh, it, is, it is what it is with Kane and that's fine, mate. It's, uh, it's his opinion and, and my opinion. And um, I'll always respect Kane as a teammate and uh, he was a mentor of mine when I first got to the club and I'll remember those... Um, I'll remember those those times uh, throughout my whole career and when I finish as well. So it's uh, it's all part of the job and um, it's just opinions. Good on you, Trav. Good luck with the travels up to Queensland and here's to a good season for Port Adelaide. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Travis Boker, who handles himself magnificently, yeah. isn't he? A little bit light on him tonight. That's all right. You've softened. No, I, I, <laughs> there's no player in the game that I respect more than Travis Boker and no player I've said more complimentary things about Trav. So respect him enormously, Archie.